Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name's Josh and you're helping me grow my photography business called Herndon Photography. So, um, let me just let you know a little about myself. I've been doing photography now since my sophomore year of high school, which has been 10 years ago now. But, um, back then I was just shooting with a little point shoot camera so my pictures weren't the greatest I'll I'll probably uh, show those in a later video but for now we'll just kinda leave those irrelevant first impressions are important but um, um it wasn't until my senior year of high school just a little bit after I took a uh, job at a local racetrack doing uh, action photography for them and uh, I only did that for a couple months because I left that to go work at a haunted house during the fall because that's just something I always wanted to do. And so, that's been a long time now. I still have all those pictures, so I'll probably show a few of those. Um, back then I was shooting with a Nikon D50. And so, you can tell that's a really old camera by now, especially by today's camera standards. Um, about midway working at the racetrack, I upgraded to a D5100. And with that, I had higher frame rates so I could get more shots of the races, especially during the early races. It'd be daylight outside so I could snap a lot more pictures. And plus, the D51 handled low light a lot better than the D50 could. Because trying to get those race cars with just the lights going around the track still wasn't a whole lot of light. And that's even with using a speed light, just trying to light it up just a little extra. And of course, I learned, uh, learned quite a bit working from that. But uh, after that, I just kind of do side things here and there. I, I kind of like doing a lot of landscape pictures. I want to do more pictures with actual people in them, but it's the nature of the beast sometimes. But uh, back then, I was just shooting with, when I had the D5100, I was just shooting with the kit lens, the 18, to, I think it was 55 millimeter. And so. Just recently, I've upgraded to the D7500, which is what I'm shooting with now. And I love its uh, frame rate compared to the D5100. You get a lot more frames per second. Um, handles the low light a lot better. Of course, it's still a crop sensor camera. Eventually, I want to upgrade to a full frame. But uh, for now, for now, it does exactly what I need it to. But... Uh, the lenses I'm currently shooting with um, the one that's recording right now is the Sigma art lens 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 and it takes a nice super crisp image um, on top of that I also have my Sigma 20 to 200 or 70 to 200 I'm sorry um, and this lens is probably one of my workhorses I don't know who could be texting me right now, but it can wait. But uh, that's one of my favorite lenses to use. Um, I'll probably do a gear review of that later in a separate video. On top of that, I also have my Nikon 50mm prime lens. Um, it's the only Nikon lens that I own, but because I just seem to favor the Sigma lenses a lot more. Um, mainly price wise because my 7200 I think was like I think it was $1500 whereas the Nikon one is like $2300 some of Sigma stuff is still a little bit more expensive but I love their image quality just from the lenses that I've used I haven't used that many but if we do future gear reviews I'd like to do a lot more Sigmas and that's one of my plans for this channel I want to do a lot of gear reviews so if you just helping me grow a lot more can help me do that because I know some of you probably want to use these lenses yourself 
Um, and that's that's one of my future plans for this channel. Um, another thing I'd like to do is um, the photo shoots that I go on. Um, probably start filming while I'm doing the photo shoots. That way you can see my process and maybe you can tell me things that I can do different or things that I can help you with that that you could probably do different. It just all depends. It's it's a nice uh, how are we going to grow channel and see where we'll be in the next five years. Um, but I think right now we'll I'll stop I'll show you some of my previous work and uh, tell me what you think. Leave some constructive criticism in the comments and uh, let's go.